So Ross, obviously we've got Dorking this weekend. It's um, you know a place where we had one of probably one of our best memories so far this season um, at their place. So we'll be wanting to do the same kind of thing at our place. Yeah, of course. But I think uh, it's going to be a really tough game, and they're going to be well up for it. Though. Obviously, a bit of revenge is going to be on their mind, and uh, I know Mark is going to want to want to want to come and 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 um, have a real goal like they always will, and they want to come come and dominate the ball and. Um, like we know they can do, so it's going to be a real tough game, and um, yeah, I imagine it'll be a tough, a real, real tough game. So we've got to be switched on, and we've got to be focused, and and whatnot. Obviously, Mark's very open with how he likes his side set up. You know, if, if he says if if they score, if if the opposition score, they want to score more goals. So how how do you kind of um, set up to deal with that? It's, it's obviously a bit of defensive sturdiness there that needed, isn't there? Yeah, and. I think we've got it, but I, I mean, obviously, the, the the amount of games it took us toll a little bit, and it's no surprise we conceded late on against Bournemouth with the amount of games we've had. So, um, in reflection, obviously, it's disappointing to, to lose that game, but um, we need to get our momentum back nice and fast. And like you said, we're we've got good enough players to be compact and to be to be hard to beat. But uh, it's not really our style, and, and we want to be aggressive and, and we want to try and impact teams. Um, in their defensive third, so that's where we, we want to play and that's how we want to play and it really adds to the entertainment factor so I, I know Mark will probably be in agreement, we, we want to make it as entertaining as possible and um, it's certainly sort of, hope, but hopefully will be on Saturday. Oh, well, it's a strange kind of situation obviously playing Dorking twice in a row, two weekends in a row. Is that something you've ever had to deal with before? Is there anything that changes in the kind of setup, or is it easier perhaps? Uh, I mean, we, well, we we had to deal with the, with the walking games, didn't we, yeah, over Christmas? Course, yeah. um, I, I believe. I mean, we've got to focus on this game and not think about the next two games, and that's the main thing. You can easily just go. We've got talking back to back, but ultimately, we need to get over the first talking game first, and and we do that by being as focused and as switched on as we can for that. We're, we we in terms of injuries, we're we're, we're in a, a good a good clean bill of health, and um, we've got a couple of. New bodies in, um, certainly, uh, certainly one or two faces might be involved tomorrow, um, which is really positive. Um, but uh, look at our, our start eleven tomorrow, and, and look at our squad tomorrow. Even in our squad, and even players not involved, it's really strong. And whereas um, they might not be in the best form, it doesn't matter. But we're in, we're in good form and. We're feeling confident. We're feeling well. We're doing well. So it's important that uh, we get our momentum back quickly and and we turn the tide as quick as we can. You speak about the fitness there. Obviously, we saw Josh McCoy come back. That's obviously brilliant news. And I guess it's great to have another one of those experienced players back in the fold. Yeah, we don't have many of them, and I've reiterated how hard they are to get and how expensive they are, and and how that's why they're expensive because they're so so important. So. Having Josh back along with Vinny and Potts and is, is is a huge, huge um, positive and bonus for this side. So we're a young side, uh, but we get points by being energetic and and by being um, enthusiastic and, and by pressing and by by uh, playing on the front foot. And, and we'll be doing more of the same. I think probably might not be one of your questions you'll ask in a minute. But our home record is is not great, and it's not great since I came in and. It's not great since since the, for for many few years now, and um, that needs to turn. We, we, it, it does keep me up, and it does bother me, and it needs to change. And um, these are opportunities to change it, not not fear, and not, we're not scared to play this game. We need to see it as an opportunity, and we need to be front foot, aggressive, play forward, one attack, run forward. That's how we need to play at home, and sometimes it won't, and sometimes it won't, and. Probably, probably nearly did work against all them, but Boreham Wood was a real tough game and a real, uh, I can imagine a real, not enjoyable game to watch. Well, let's let's talk about that home record then, because it is it is such a tricky one, isn't it? Because obviously it's not something that's happened since you've come in. It's not even something that's happened since this new squad of players has come in. It is it has affected the club for a few years now. So, so how how do you try and approach that, tackle that? I mean, it's trying to understand what it is, right? Yeah. I mean. I mean, it's easy to go. It's it's nervousness and it's 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 not having fans in the door. But the fans were great on Tuesday, like loud and uh, positive, and and you can hear it and you can sense it. So that can't be a problem. And then you think about the young players we've got and players who maybe aren't aren't, aren't necessarily been here a long time. So so they don't know about the history and and they don't really know about about the longevity of it. So so what is the problem really? And it, I, I I I wonder whether it's I don't know it's daft, but but we've got a style that suits us away at the minute, and 
and I think we figured a style out that can get us points away and I don't think we've quite figured the consistency of that out at home and we need to make teams fear coming to us we need to make sure that when teams come to us they know they're going to have to defend um, we need to make sure when teams come to us they know they're gonna, it's going to be tough and they're going to have to run and I'm not quite sure we're there yet so it's not through lack of trying or lack of discussion with the players um, we know what we want to do to get it there and I think we're starting to figure out what we can do to get it there but we need to we need to be harder to play at home I mean I have spoke to you a number of times and we're almost more open right and mm. um, and we're more open because we have the ball a bit more and we, we make silly little mistakes so we need to be better as coach and staff and make sure that when we have got the ball where we're also thinking about the what if and that might secure that behind us but hopefully I said hopefully we can we can fix the problem and it's not through lack of want or lack of trying cheers Ross cheers Sam <laughs>